Welcome to Drunken Pukako. Uh, today we'll be using the grandfather to do my first all grain brew. So um, let's get started. All right, so we've added our 20 and one half liters of water as called by the recipe. We've set our control unit to 67 degrees. And we will now just start to heat up that water, get it up to a hot temperature, drop our basket in and add the grains. So I will be back. Okay, so we've just hit the mashing temperature. So we're going to start adding our grains slowly here. Trying to stay out of the camera's way as much as possible, but so we're going to slowly add these in while stirring just to make sure we don't get any clumps. All right, so now we add the lid. Oh, sorry, first we take off the capper. Take our mesh basket and we just pour this, push this down just on top of the grain without squishing the grain. So just till it sits right on top. And we have this guy. Let me push that down just until it hits the center hole. There we go. Now we return our lid. there. And we grab our circulation pipe here. Stick the piping down here and attach this to the pump. We then turn on the pump and set our timer for 75 minutes. I'll double check that. on there nice and tight. There we go. Turn on our pump, make sure we don't have any leaks. And that's going to circulate the grain for 75. All right, so our time is just about up. Um, looking at the timer, we have five minutes to go. I uh, just want to give you guys another look in here and uh, see how this looks. Let's see if I can carefully remove this from my tripod. Give you guys a bit of a closer look. So there we go. So it's been sitting at 67 degrees for um, an hour and 10 minutes now. It's really cleared up. You can really kind of see the grain in there. So um, yeah, we'll let this go for the next five minutes. We then raise the temperature, let it uh, sit for 10 minutes at that higher temperature, um, just to clarify it a bit. And then we will go to mash out, so, or sparge, sorry, not mash out. So, I will see you then. All right, so we're about 20 seconds out. Um, when this beeps, we're going to um, switch the controller to normal mode, which gives it 2,000 or two kilowatts. And we're gonna raise the temperature up to 75 degrees. All right, so we'll hit the switch on the bottom. And we will hit set on here. And we'll leave that there for 10 minutes. So we'll go ahead and reset our clock to 10 minutes. And then we will start to uh, sparge out. So I will see you guys then. All right, we have about 25 seconds left um, in the mash out. 
And so at that point what we will do is we will disassemble the top. We will remove, after turning off the pump of course, we will remove the flow pipe. We will cap it um, and pull everything up using the handy lever. So it's about to go off. Turn off the pump, let that all drain back. So we will unscrew this slowly and just lift up the lid a little bit to move that away from the liquid. There we go. So we'll remove this. take the handle and it actually slots into two little slots on the sides here and locks into place. And that will allow us to lift this whole desk up, twist it around the grease. And as you can tell, that's draining. So we will now add the cap to the pump pipe coming up, just in case that actually gets switched on. We don't want that to happen. So we'll go ahead and let this drain for a couple minutes, and I will be right back with you. All right, well, it sounds like that's just about done. So I've been heating up some water over here. Pardon me while I stop in front of the camera. So we'll remove this from the heat and we'll drain it in for sponge. Hopefully without making too much of a mess. And that completes our 12 and a half liter sparge out. So we'll go ahead and let that drain through, and then we will start the boil and continue from there. All right, it's just about finished draining, so we'll go ahead and lift the basket off. I'm just going to drop it in my sink for now, and we will switch everything over to boil. I'll move the camera to get a better look, and uh, we will start things from there. I'll see you soon. All right, so we'll switch this over to boil. And let that come up to temperature and start getting ready to stir, stir, stir. All right, we just hit boil, so I will start my 30 minute timer and uh, we will add, sorry, I will start my 90 minute timer. We will add our hops at 60 minutes. Ten. So we'll go ahead and add the top plate here, back on. And put on the counter flow wort chiller, wort chiller. Remove the screw from the side here. to be correct.
clap this guy on top. And this guy in here. And here in just a few minutes, we'll circulate everything through here um, just to sterilize the wart tiller and we will be good to go.